there, it's Julie, and it's time for our exercise of the day. I'm joined by my workout partner who helps me to have a really strong, powerful workout. Now, my workout partner is going to help me today. She's going to keep me honest with my movements. So, she's going to stay right there and watch me give me some coaching. All we're going to do is place our feet flat, bend in the knees, sit nice and tall, rib cage lifted. And from here, we're going to cross our arms across our shoulders and then lower down halfway and then come on back up. Yeah. Lower down halfway and come back up. Now, if you feel pain in the lower back, first of all, no pain is ever acceptable. I want you to back off. But if you do feel pain, you may want to put your feet under a couch or under a chair, or under a dog. Um, <laughs> she did that on cue, didn't she? But, <laughs> but so what we're going to do is just lean back to a point of tension to the core muscles, no pain in the lower back, and then pull yourself straight back up. Now, if you need to modify, some things that you can do is, of course, decrease your range of motion, have something on your feet, or, you know, just make sure you take it as slow as possible and listen to your body. Now, to make this a little bit more challenging, you may take this a little further back, and you may want to also hold it when you come back. Squeeze that core muscle. You can see me shaking already. And then pull yourself back up. Now, make sure you breathe. Come on down. Inhale your way back up. Exhale. Inhale. And what you want to do is always come back up to a nice tall back. It doesn't look like a lot of work, but I'm telling you, coming to that halfway point or that point where you feel that tension in the muscle, there is a, that is that point of resistance that's, oh, so good. Gives you lots of results in a short amount of time, but you've got to find that sweet spot, never work past it, never work under it. So you come to understand your body. Now, finally, if you want to add some extra variation to this, you can change where those arms are. If you bring your arms in front, that again will make it a little bit easier. It will help you to modify. Bringing your arms up is going to make it harder because you're lengthening the lever that you're lifting. So you're making this more challenging for the body. And then if you would have a weight or any sort of, you know, extra addition like a water bottle or anything that you want to hold on to, that's just going to add extra resistance to your movement. So again, listen to your body. Never work to a point of pain. Especially be thoughtful about that lower back. Modify as you need to. And you're on your way to strengthening that abdominal wall and your back, feeling strong and powerful. Here's to a strong and powerful day. And until next time, make it a great one.